Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to make a wonderful cheesy chicken quesadilla. Um, this is a great way to use up some USDA foods. Um, you could use the USDA whole wheat tortilla, the 8 inch one, any USDA cheese you have on hand, and it's a great way to use up any chicken product you have. If you get the fajita strips, if you get the plain unseasoned strips, if you just have chicken that you need to use up, toss a little fajita or taco seasoning on here and this is wonderful. Um, quesadillas are great, kids love them, and they're really a simple thing to make, it's more of an assembly thing. So we're going to focus on some crediting information in this video. I love to use a scale. I think they are great. So one thing for me is if I'm doing a lot of assembly, I want to make it simple. I'm going to double check how much, you know, what size scoop works for what I'm building to get me that right amount of product that I need. And we're also going to do these in two different ways because depending on what your age group is, you might require different crediting. Each tortilla credits as a one and a half ounce grain. So you can do this and fill it and just fold it, or you can do it in the way where you stack them on top of each other and cut them into triangles. And we're gonna go over both here. So where it's a one and a half ounce grain, I want to make sure I have two ounces of meat meat alternate in it. This is a blue handled number 16 scoop, and if I overfill it a little bit, if I can do that, it gives me exactly one ounce of cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on the tortillas that I'm going to fold in half. And since I know that that really full scoop will get me what I want, I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Now for the ones that I'm going to be cutting, I actually need one and a half ounces of cheese on each one. So I'm going to double check my information. If I really heap it, I end up with one and a quarter, so I'm going to go ahead and just use my fingers here, got it up to one and a half, go ahead and spread that out. Since I've pre-measured my cheese, I know that the rest of it is exactly what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and spread the cheese out here. If you have high school kids that like their food a little extra spicy, you can go ahead and add in some spicy seasonings here, some hot sauce, um, queso, anything like that. All right, and so we're going to do the exact same thing with the chicken. We want one ounce on the ones we're folding in half and one and a half ounces on the ones that we're going to stack. So I'm going to go ahead and check to see what I got. A full blue scoop gives me 115, so it's a little bit over. I'm just going to roll with it for right now. So it's kind of a light scoop, basically. But of course, for these bigger ones, I need more. So I'm going to make sure I really fill my scoop up to get a measurement here. And I'm at 1.6, so perfect. We're going with it. So we really fill that scoop up. I'm going to go ahead and just double check it again, see where I'm at. I ended up a little heavy on that one. I'm going to pull some out and go ahead here. So we want to make sure our chicken is nice and evenly spread out so you get you know nice even bites throughout when you're eating it. So for these two, we are going to just throw another tortilla right on top. And these ones here, we're going to go ahead and fold over. Now I'm going to do these in the oven. If you have a smaller school and would like to do them right on a flat top or in a tilt skillet, you are more than welcome to. Because I'm doing them in the oven, I'm going to grab another piece of paper and a sheet pan and I'm going to lay it on top just so these don't unfold and these stay a little bit flatter. Um, another thing is if your kids enjoy a softer quesadilla, um, if you heat up or cook your chicken um, separately from this, and while it's still hot, you assemble and just place them in your warmer before service, the cheese will melt nicely, 
and your tortilla will stay a lot softer. So I'm gonna put these in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes has gone by and our quesadillas are ready to be cut for service. So we take the pan and the paper off and you can see with that pan on top, you actually get a little bit of color on there as well. So for our smaller quesadillas, what I'm gonna suggest is that you actually cut them into thirds. So you, just right there and right there. And it's a great little bite-sized food. Get some nice cheese melting out on the side here. And then the catch is for our bigger quesadillas. So together, these two quesadillas will serve three kids. So what you wanna do is you cut each of them into six triangles. And then one serving is four pieces here. So that would be one serving for a two grain, two meat meat alternate here. Serve it with some sour cream and salsa and the kids will just eat these up.